What is up my flawlessly kings and queens Welcome back to my channel As you guys can see by the title You already know we got Krishan Rock back in the click Today you guys Now y'all we, we was going to start this click news Talking about how Carlissa actually really Pulled up on her To come and see her grandbaby And Krishan actually let her See the grandbaby And I'll give y'all my opinions on that in the next click news however i will say this krishan is going to jail to jail now if you guys follow my instagram at cc bad bbw 2w you would know that the neighborhood talk basically posted a post as you guys can see on the screen and it says krishan rock allegedly punched james wright chanel in the face several times backstage at tamar braxton's show after missing the time to perform now as y'all can see in these videos on the screen as i put them on here she was partying you know obviously she was lit before she got the tamar braxton show and this is before they hit the stage obviously you could see her and tamar let's play the clip we're gonna do a video tamar because you look Okay, look, the Pisces didn't link the Pisces bottom up, just didn't link the up. Y'all in trouble. Oh, yeah. We at the Nova. If you ain't here, where the you at? Hello. Now, here is what the neighborhood talk said because they actually put it out before I seen this on any other blog. And it says, My ears are out in the streets, child. Tamar Braxton had a show Friday night in Los Angeles, and like her previous ones, invited some special guests to hit the stage as well as Krishan was on the lineup for Friday. My source told me that when it came time for Krishan's song to be played, they couldn't find her and had to move on. She was out in the front trying to get a friend in the show. Krishan had no clue she missed an opportunity for her song to be played and went backstage to inquire about that on what had happened. She went into Tamar's room and spoke to one of the men working the stage, which was James Wright. Now, if you guys do not know who James Wright is, I remember him for eating Patty LaBelle's pie, okay? When he would sing and be like, Patty! You know, and um, he seemed like a very cool guy. Obviously, he cooks. He chefs it up all the time for Tamar Braxton. It's not my first time really seeing him around her. So, basically, he's one of, you know, he works with her as well as being a chef for her. And he seems like a great-spirited person. I uh, even followed him on Instagram a while back and used to watch him go live and stuff like that so he seemed like a very respectable person a lot of people do know him in the industry and so this is definitely completely shocking to know not so much Krishan assaulting someone because she has had many alleged assaults um that we had on video that we didn't have on video and so this right here is just out of control okay and i'm i'm honestly getting super tired of seeing a lot of the rock tards have something to say pertaining to her assaulting someone call your mama period Got me over here tight. Excuse me, what? It's always making excuses for this girl talking about, oh, if she hit somebody, it had to have been a reason. There's been plenty of instances we've seen Krishan Rock assault people and it being unwarranted, okay? Just because she don't like the person liking something, just because she don't like the person saying certain things. You can't go around thinking that you can assault people and think you're not going to get locked up or somebody sue you for your coins. Now, hopefully this situation is not true, but there are people coming out basically stating that this is true. And one of them people being Mr. L. Davis. Now, Mr. L. Davis is the one who um, orchestrated and put together the concert um, for Tamar Braxton, which he's a close friend of Tamar and James um, Wright. So he came out to his stories and he had a lot to say in his stories. Not only did he come out into his stories, he actually posted a post. And as you guys can see right here, it says, I just want to let y'all know that that girl, Krishan, y'all keep hyping up assaulted James Wright okay? at Tamar's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I will do everything to make sure she goes to prison. Oh, Lord. That means you have done that for too many times too long. 
Lock that bitch up. She is trash, and that's why her life is the way that it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. Now, in the caption, he said, that lady is a disgusting pig. And I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. You do not come to my show and attack people. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure she pays for assaulting James. She's going to prison. I am so disgusted. There's no way out of this one. You're done. Now, click. He did get on his stories and had a lot more things to say. So we're going to get straight into saying y'all need to stop rewarding bad behavior and bad people. I am so disgusted. Krishan came to my show and assaulted James. She hit James in his mouth. She is disgusting. She deserves the way everybody treats her. She is trash. He said that ghetto hip hop trash ass. Girl should have never been there. She is the bottom of the barrel. Tell you something, you low down, dirty, stinky, crusty, low budget. Ooh, child. He said, "I'm so sorry for anyone who had to witness that trash tonight. She ruined an amazing night, and I'm gonna make sure she goes to jail." So he mean business, y'all. He is not playing, and this this is definitely going to definitely humble her for sure. He said, I hope everything bad that's supposed to happen to her does. Everyone has worked their ass off to make sure this tour happened. And for Sean to come and assault James, I'm at a loss for words. Okay. Now, I will say this. a lot. I did go live on my Instagram, um, as you guys can see on the screen. And a lot of people, you know, I had a lot of haters in there as well. But I also had a lot of people who understood where I'm coming from. Now, I don't do this job for everybody to agree with me. I do know upon me deciding to be a blogger that it was going to be a lot of people that did not agree or like what I had to say. And I am 100% okay with that because I'm not doing this for y'all. I'm doing it for the people that get it, get it. Okay. Call your mama. Period. And my flawlessly kings and queens who definitely support your girl. So with that being said, make sure you guys smash that like button. Don't forget to go in the comments and delegate because I always make sure I try my best to respond back to every single person. If you guys hear um, stuff in the background, I am in my living room today and my husband is cooking your girl some breakfast. And I said, you know what? We're going to get this commentary in because we do have a lot to say and a lot of other click news. But we're going to strictly talk about Krishan Rock allegedly assaulting Mr. James right because this right here is just not okay and i'm so sick of everybody giving her excuses every five minutes she do something like it's just no it's just not gonna give no more okay so before we do play what mr james Wright have to say y'all already know i make my reservations y'all know we always gonna most definitely talk about it take a look at her drunk on the stage and please pay attention to tamar braxton's facial expression you will gag take a look Now, as you guys seen that, Tamar's face was literally looking crazy. I ain't gonna lie, she definitely had me gagging because I'm like, she looks so embarrassed. She probably was thinking to herself, like, why would I, why did I invite this girl? And as you can see, she said, you can't, you know, people gonna be who they are. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like Krishan is a time and a place in a different audience. You were not in, in front of a whole bunch of audience of Gen Z's. You was in, in an audience with people who listened to Tamar Braxton, Tony Braxton, because she also was there to perform and you know more of the older crew and the older crew ain't got time for the drunk antics okay however i do feel and believe that um tamar should speak out as soon as possible and james wright once he comes out the hospital so we could get confirmation i'm pretty sure that something had to take place because why would you know mr davis come out and have something to say about it okay so y'all take a look at what he had to say Dog, I don't even care at this point. Whoever want to get mad at me can get mad at me. Y'all got to stop. First of all, let me tell you about this ghetto, disgusting gutter But I don't even want to call her a girl. First of all, she's trash. She should have never been at my show. So she come to Tamar concert, which I planned, and I will say that. Um, 
drunk with a thousand people smelling like weed, looking dumb, okay? And so she apparently she makes music. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, apparently she wanted to drop a beat so she was mad that she didn't get to perform I, I didn't know she was a performer and even if I did know she was a performer she was not getting on the stage that everybody has worked their ass off to, to, to make so she caught first of all y'all see the video she was up there a drunk fool okay she so now she caught and took your man upset because she didn't get to perform. So again, y'all saw her show her dumb ass during Love and War. What? Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wow. Ooh. She ruined the song, she ruined the concert, she ruined the moment. So then she go backstage and she is upset, okay? Because she didn't get to perform her ringtone. So she storms in Tamar's dressing room with a thousand people, okay? And everybody's like, nobody knew you were supposed to perform a song. We didn't even know that you made music. We thought you was on Zeus. Right? So, everybody's trying to calm her down. She's in there, rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon, right? So, then James is like, oh, it wasn't on purpose. Like, nobody tried to, like, shade you. We we didn't know that you were supposed to sing. She, like, lie again. Lie again. And James like, no, nobody knew. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. James' face is bloody. James is at the hospital right now because his nose will not stop bleeding. She's going to prison. And I promise you, and we can cancel all this shit right now. You don't come to nobody's show. Everybody has worked their mother, uh, worked their behind off to make this tour amazing. You know what I'm saying? And we don't have a lot of help. So never will I ever let anyone get away coming to anything that anybody I know and care about plan and work hard for and assault them, and I'm letting it go. So I want everybody to let Crescent know, Croissant, whoever she is and whatever she does, I'm coming for every coin she has. And y'all know me, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You do not come to my show and assault people that are working on my show. Okay, I might not have sang Love and War, but I'm the only reason everybody heard it tonight. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Now, here's the thing. Krishan is not sorry for anything that, that she did, okay? She went to her stories, and this is how she replied to, you know, basically after he came out and told everybody and it went on the blogs and everything. She basically showed her rings, probably the ones that chipped Mr. James' tooth. And I'm going to keep it real. Like I said to everybody on my Instagram, if I was her friend, she is not around real friends because I would have grabbed her by her neck and be like, let's go. I would have rather her fight me drunk rather than putting your hands and assaulting someone else because now you're going to have to pay up. Call your mama, period. You're going to have to pay up and you're going to have to reap what you sow. You are a train wreck and people are watching it. And for you as a human being, so even even if it's it, we don't know if it's a, if it happened. This is all alleged, right? However, being as though this is all alleged, why would you literally sit here and give an excuse to someone who openly is assaulted someone and put your middle finger up rather than coming out apologizing for your actions and owning up to the fact that you need some therapy. You need mental and psychological help for you to think that you could go around like you with the Zeus network all day every day attacking and assaulting people and thinking that you're not going to get in trouble for it clock it 
She is walking around like she's unbeatable because of you guys. You guys are the problem. And clock it. And then you get mad at bloggers for holding her accountable and giving her the attention she want. Because if you do something in the internet, people are going to talk about it. You put your life out on the internet, people are going to give their opinions. You guys have got to stop with this trying to bash bloggers sh and, and posting what she posts. We are not in charge of media. We cannot choose what goes viral. Unfortunately, the people who choose who goes viral decided to put her in the limelight. Why? Because they want a lot of people, which is the mass culture, to do the same thing that she do. And that's self-destruct. She is a complete train wreck. And I do not care what nobody got to say. This is my platform. If you don't like what I say, that's your problem. Period. I'm going to come on here because I am a real human being. I am a mother just being a mother I'm a person and I know if I seen my friend get his tooth chipped or for talking to another human being telling them we didn't know that you were supposed to perform and let's be real little my boo song is little my boos he got 20 million views on his YouTube, which means that that money is going into his pocket. People congratulated Chris Sean Rock a lot all week about making it to the billboard, when in theory, it was not her song at all. It is Little Ma Boo's song. Her head is getting way too big with all this clout to where she think that she is in charge of everything and that she could walk around like the big bad wolf. And the fact that your friends did not take you from that situation before it escalated goes to show you the type of people that she has around her and it's ridiculous and if you talk about how scared you are for blue face to take your baby and how you don't want you know um the mother and all of them you don't trust everybody you are doing things in the public eye that can be used against you as a mother because the number one important thing you should be worrying about is your son rather than going to events drunk weed up high acting a fool acting like you can't conduct yourself like you're not a normal human being when you are supposed to watch yourself and worry about your son and providing for him and so for those who sit here and say oh people think because she a mother she can't put her hands on her or on people you are an idiot. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, that should be more of a reason why she should learn how to conduct herself and stop acting like a fucking idiot on the internet and get mad at everybody when people don't agree with your toxic behavior. Now, y'all can let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about it, but if you don't agree with me, I honestly don't care. Because the truth is, y'all have to stop this. She needs to be canceled immediately. She needs time away from the internet and maybe she needs to be behind bars to humble her for her to change her life to be a better mother to Junior. Because at this point, you are showing nothing but negativity and you are showing that you don't care and you are letting this clout and this money and all this fame get to your head and you're not focusing on what you truly need to focus on and that's building generational wealth for you and your child, period. And if you don't understand that, then you need to grow up. Period. Listen, all I really got to say is you cannot help people that do not want to be helped. Okay, that's it. But what we can do is continue to pray that she will decide that she choose Junior first and wanting to do the right thing. However, the way she's been acting, the way she's going is really, truly self-destructing. And if we constantly keep praising this type of behavior and this attitude, she's going to continue to go viral. She's going to continue to do it because she's not being stopped. That's the thing. You wonder why all these people in California doing all these break-ins because the store policy, you're not able, people who are stopping these people from stealing at these jewelry places, stealing at these clothing stores, all these things, which in fact, to me is absolutely disgusting because you are ruining and shutting down stores in your neighborhood, which is what the government truly wants you guys to do. And you're so dumb because it's monkey see monkey do. So I, where I'm coming from is the fact is if you don't stop it 
and you don't make an example out of one person, people or a couple people, people are going to think it's okay. She's going to continue to keep doing it because she got a lot of toxic fans who is like, I know that's right. He did something. I know he did it. it ain't no way she did. Ain't no way she did that shit for no reason. Oh, please. Oh, please. Whether he says something out of line or not, you better learn how to conduct yourself because the facts are the facts. It don't matter what a person say. It is illegal for you to put your hands on someone and assault them without any reason. He didn't attack you. You didn't feel attacked. It, it was no word of him actually putting his hands on you. The only thing I'm getting right now in my DMs and from what I've been hearing from actual people who were in the room are literally stating that she was the one who came in there irate, upset, and putting her hands on them. She really, truly needs to change. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. And there's nothing that nobody could really say besides literally praying for that girl. Because you out here fighting your demons. You're taking a lot of your frustrations and anger out on everybody else rather than yourself. And realizing that a lot of your self-destruct got a lot to do with you and the choices that you make. You only got one life to live. Okay, life is all about choices and decisions. Okay, when you make a choice to do something bad, you have to be ready for the consequences and you have to live by it. Okay, and sometimes why you think a lot of these veterans and people be on the streets with nothing because they made a bad, de bad decision and a bad choice in their life and now they have to live with the, the repercussions and everything that's going on with their life because of that one bad decision. Now, y'all could bring up the age. Yes, she is young, which is one of the reasons why you should take the time now to make the changes. Because as you get older, that shit gets old. You can't do the same things that you used to do when you young. I'm 30 years old. There's no way I'm out here punching people in their face because I don't like what they're saying. It's not happening. That's not how you go through life. And you being a mother to a two-month-old, do you really care about being there for your son? Because the way things is looking right now is you had that baby for blue face. You out here chasing him, smiling on the live, doing all types of... Girl, you not even focusing about the fact that you got to come home to a two-month-old who needs his mother. Because this is the most crucial time. It's when they're newborns. Why would you jeopardize your freedom? Because you mad. Because you, you went out to allegedly get another friend. Because from what Mr. Davis saying is that she came with a boatload of people. And yes, I do believe it. Because this is not the first time she's been invited to people's shows. And she would come with an entourage full of people. Which is nothing wrong with that. But you were with an entourage full of people who literally condone your behavior. Who do not stop you in your tracks. So, yeah, that is a problem, period, okay? Now, I do want to get straight into um, some comments because, you know, a lot of people had some things to say about it, and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just baffled. Someone said, I don't understand why she was on a stage with legendary Tamar Braxton anyways. That is so random. So, Mr. Davis said, me either. I'm pretty sure Tamar is the one who invited her, and he probably wasn't aware that she was, going to act the way that she acted but y'all gotta realize you inviting this girl to your place you know this is how she is you know she acts irrational you know she acts ratchet you know her so my thing is why invite her if you know you've seen what she done in the public you've seen how she's portrayed portrayed herself you've you've heard plenty of stories and now you got a taste of it so i really hope that you know it wasn't such a big shocker to you i mean come on I don't understand this. How hard is it to not assault someone for just doing their job? Now, as y'all know, he definitely was doing his job. He was telling her just to calm down. She's upset. He was trying to alleviate the situation because she, obviously when she's drunk, she's irate. She don't care. She thinks that this is still Zeus Network baddies. She just thinks she could just act that way with just anybody. And she got the right crew because if she was in New York, she would have literally got put on her neck and then they would have robbed her. What are you talking about? Call your mama. Period. Don't nobody, this ain't, the, in the real world, she can't act like that. You probably can only act like that around people in Hollywood and in the industry, but in real life, she would never make it 
acting like that. And she better change her attitude before she really, really, really gets it in real life. Now, this person said, and her downfall begins unless she strategically moves differently from now on. Otherwise, this is the start of her fall because no. She knows who and who not to try that mess with because she wouldn't make it out of Chicago doing that nonsense. Laugh out loud. I'm just saying. Okay. Then someone said she did what? M not Mr. Patty Pies. I know she lying. Someone also said watching someone self-destruct is heartbreaking. Whether you know them or not, shaking my head. She gonna block her own blessings, crashing out like this. Just want to hear her fans' excuse for this one. She going to jail, shaking my head. She too old to be acting like that with a two-month-old baby. Now, as y'all can see on the screen, Blueface was around with the baby um, and stuff like that. And he, it, it looks forced. You don't see a connection at all. I will say that he should be in his baby's life because a baby is an innocent baby. And if you partake in something and help contribute to make a baby, you supposed to be there, period. Accept the responsibilities because every baby deserves and need love. So I'm here for that 110%. Somebody said, she is a disgusting big and I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. That is exactly what Mr. Davis said. Somebody said, and this is acceptable. Like, get the F out of here. Not my mans who was singing about Patty Paz. Krishan got to chill. Shaking my head. She literally blocks her own blessings. Now, I see a lot of you saying she blocked her own blessings. I do agree that she is blocking her own blessings. And she's also a hypocrite because she goes from praying to punching people in their face in the next min minute, in the next instance. And it just has to stop. If she don't change, she's going to lose a lot of supporters a lot of people are not going to want to invite her to shows because you can't sit and go around and fight a whole bunch of people and expect people to believe that you are willing to change and you've had all type of uh, developmental growth when you out here punching people in their face unwarranted okay that's just it so the behavior has to change Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about this. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. If you guys are not new and you my day unos, welcome back. I love you guys so much. On the road to 100K, make sure you guys are smashing that video, hitting that subscribe. I got to get off because my husband chopping them onions for this omelet. And we're going to make sure we do some more videos. Like I said, y'all, Krishan has to change. A lot of you rock tarts going to come on here and talk about, oh, mind your business. Y'all need to shut up. The girl is famous because she can't came out and she wanted people in her fake business so now that we in it don't tell us to shut up now y'all the one who created the monster we over here trying to tame it and hold her accountable for it point blank period with that being said if nobody told you that they love you today just know that i love you i will see you guys in the next click news